All right, so today we have a MacBook that needs to be fixed. Let's see what it's doing in my overhead camera. By the way, in the next few days I have to install this power supply software that I got from circuit specialists. They actually sent me a power supply that shows up on screen. So you'll be able to see the amperage it's taking. But I never set it up. I really should do that at some point. So, this MacBook is taking 12 milliamps and we don't get a light in the charger. And it's not turning on. So no green light, not turning on. So the first thing we're going to do is see if the power rail required for the one-wire circuit is there. That's PP3V42. This is also the power rail that has the SMC working. And as you can see, it's 3.4 volts. Hmm. Interesting. Now, the next thing we have to do is see if the SMC is turning on. So we have the power rail required for the SMC to turn on. The SMC is going to be what speaks to the charger. But now we have to see if we have power for the SMC. So let's look up board view for an 820-00165. This over here is the SMC reset chip. This SMC reset L signal is going to tell the SMC to turn off for the first quarter of a second the machine is on until PP3V42 is stabilized. So we are going to see if SMC reset L is present on this MacBook. and it appears to not be present, even though PP3V42 is present. PP3 SMC reset is not. So we're going to take this MacBook out of the case and try and find out why it's missing. So much allergies. Have you seen an early 2015 MacBook Pro with the issue called Stangate? Yes. What you, yeah, what I recommend people do there is just rip the entire coating off, so at least it's even throughout. Yeah, I still recommended the 2013-14 retinas, even though they had the issue with stain gate, because at the very least it would not cause the machine to be dead. So the other, so it doesn't cause it to be unusable, it's just a cosmetic defect. What are your thoughts on the ThinkPad X200? I would not want to buy a machine that has to be modified to 1080p. Because I honestly don't even want to deal with 1080p anymore, much less having to modify to get 1080p. Drink some tea. I don't have any tea at work, I'm afraid. I ordered a MacBook Pro i9 with Vega 20 yesterday, somebody says. You ordered a MacBook Pro with... You ordered a... You... You what? You watch this channel and you just ordered a new MacBook? Get the fuck out of my store. Get the fuck out of my store. Get the fuck out of my store. That's great. Now get the fuck out of here. I have overlay. Thank you to whoever produced the overlay. Can you stop buying at store.rossfromgroup.com? Hi, hi, stops being fed. So where were we? So it's still taking 15 milliamps and not turning on. So what I want to do is see why SMC reset is being pulled low. We're going to go back to the schematic in the board view. We're going to take a look at the schematic in the board view. Ah, allergies. I'm great. I'm going to get burned in on my LED OLED now. Funny you say that. I actually have burned it on my secondary monitor. Uh, I actually have a little tiny piece of burn in from the other day that I noticed from the multimeter overlay. Paul Daniels, do you realize that your software caused burn in on my monitor? Can't trust Australians for anything. Anyway, back to this. Over here, you'll see 
there's a pull-up resistor that's 100 kilo ohms. That's going to be using that's going to use PP3V4 to underscore G3 hot as the power rail to create SMC reset L. Let's take a look at what this uh, this little pull-up resistor looks like over here. So that resistor is going to be over here. We're going to take a look in the microscope. The resistor is a little dusty, but it actually looks fine. So now we have two options. There's two things that could be causing this to be pulled down. Behind door number one, the SMC. Behind door number two, the SMC reset chip. Now, if we have the luck of Lewis, it'll be the SMC reset chip. If we have the luck of Paul, it will be the SMC. Whose luck do you think we have today? All right, that's supposed to be my microscope camera. My microscope camera doesn't appear to be showing up. Let's see what happened to my microscope camera. My microscope camera is not showing anything. Let's see. Try turning it off and turning it back I tried plugging it in and unplugging it. So let's see if we have Paul's luck or Lewis's luck today. I'm going to think that we have Lewis's luck today because, as you can see, there's a pin that has a little bit of green on it. It's barely noticeable. It's barely there. But as you can see, here is a pin that has a little bit of green right here, right there. And that little pin with a little bit of green means this chip is probably our problem because this chip had liquid damage. Even though the customer said this, bolt, this machine had never had liquid damage. But you saw how little bit of green that was. That's barely noticeable. That's like... It's like a little cockroach walked into the machine and he didn't even finish peeing because he got a phone call. And then he, pee, you know, then he stopped. And that's all it took to kill this MacBook because there's no liquid resistance whatsoever. None. Nada. It doesn't matter that Lenovo and IBM figured this stuff out 15 years ago on their low-end line. Apple still hasn't figured it out today. And they will continue to charge you top-tier prices. Charge you top-tier prices. Charge you top-tier prices. Get the fuck out of my store. Apple still hasn't figured it out today. And they will continue to charge you top tier prices, top quality prices, as if this product is better than everything else, when it's actually not. Let's see if we get a green light once we remove this chip. Now remember, it's still not going to work when I remove this chip, because the whole purpose of this chip is to have SMC Reset L held low for the first quarter of a second after the machine turns on so that the SMC doesn't crash. So the SMC runs off of PP3V42. That's the first power rail that becomes present in the computer. However, while that power rail is being created, it's going to be jumpy. And if it tries to power the SMC, if the SMC tries to boot and turn on and do all of its internal processes and signal stuff and engineering mumbo jumbo, while PP3V42 is 4 volts, 5 volts, 2 volts, 1 volt, it's, it's going to crash. So the way we keep it from crashing is by having an, it turn off until PP3V42 has stabilized. So this is kind of like a brownout detector chip. However, it will at the very least allow me to see if this is, if SMC Reset L is high. So even if the computer doesn't work, if SMC Reset L is high, I'll know that this did its job, that removing this chip it would have been the fix. Let's use too much solder. I must use too much solder to trigger the Perfectionists on the EEV blog forum. Let's say that I am an ape. An ape! I would much rather be insulted by being called a koala than an ape. They're much cuter. And if you're trying to call somebody dumb, I think that's also a far better way to do it. I like Dave Jones, and I especially like the comments that he leaves uh, in response to people who... Uh, our jackasses in his comment section. They're quality. A first name, comma, space. I've attached the return label. Uh, please check it and send the device back in using it. So when you send this email on a phone, I'm just out. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.
Shan it in, sir. Libra office? Libra office. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to see if we get a light or SMC reset L. We do have a light. And SMC reset L is high. Indicating that today we have Lewis's luck and not Paul's luck. I did pick this board at random. Just went through the slot. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eyes closed. Pow. And this is what I got. Can you imagine that, Paul? Can you imagine that? All right. Now, we need a new SMC reset L chip. So let's see on the schematic what this is. What we need here is... SN0903049. If only there was a website that listed every single MacBook chip by both its MacBook schematic designator and actual model number of the chip. If only such a site existed. Hmm. If only. If only there was a place, a one-stop shop, that had every single thing that you needed to fix a MacBook on it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There is. At store.rossmangroup.com, you can type in U5110. And you'll find, with autocomplete, the SN0903049. It's in stock. It's on sale. If you buy five, there's additional savings. And it even tells you which MacBook boards it's compatible with. And it tells you what to check first. This website is not just a website put together by some e-commerce F-faces that are trying to get rich by linking to... By, uh, using Amazon Fulfillment for products they don't know anything about. This website actually tells you exactly what you need to know about every single product. This, it tells you what this chip's purpose is within the machine. It tells you how to troubleshoot the machine before you replace this chip. And it tells you what the job of the chip is. It tells you the compatible boards of the chip. And it's available with same-day shipping from New York, free shipping on all orders in the continental United States, over $30, with amazing ratings on store.rossmangroup.com. Local pickup available in New York City if you place your order and choose shipping method local pickup. You can't lose. Now, we're going to get ourselves a new chip from store.rossmangroup.com. Oh, wow. Somebody sent me a power supply for free? Yeah. Holy crap. Wow. Who sent me this? Uh, I don't deserve this. Oh, it's a fresh test ticket. They Thank asked you. On, they asked for permission. I said, yeah, we don't need permission to send us gifts. Or hey, is this a gift or is this some like I have to review it and give them a good review, which I'm not? Okay, good. Because they're, they're not going to be happy if it's a review. But thank you very much to the person who got me this Yuhua power supply. That's very nice of you. Oh, seriously, thank you. Okay, now I need a chip from slot C1. Can you give me a chip from slot C1? Can you show our audience how large the warehouse at store.rossmangroup.com is? Hi, hi. Okay, where is the first warehouse? Here. Where's the first one? For warehouse number one. Where, what, where's warehouse number two? No. no <laughs> where's no, warehouse number three? Here. here. Warehouse oh, number four. But wait, there's more. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need the camera to be able to switch to see that. But yeah, you can't. Oh, wait. No, yeah. we should, no, we should get the other camera. This is 65% of our warehouse right yeah. here. And then we have <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Don't delay. We're invading. Okay, so uh, give me a chip. <laughs> <coughs> Fucking allergies. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Question, what percentage of boards, crap, overlay, shit, must, must move overlay? So, What percentage of boards can the ultrasonic cleaner... God damn it. Oh, can they repair via simple corrosion removal alone? Oh, I'd say the, at least about 50%. A good 50% of the boards, the ultrasonic cleaner fixes. So, yeah, the ultrasonic cleaner is definitely the most productive employee here. Uh, far more so than I am. Uh, I just fix the boards that the ultrasonic cleaner fails at. But the ultrasonic cleaner does fix more than me. 
we were using the ultrasonic cleaner for a long time prior to us having the knowledge to do that stuff ourselves. I got my ultrasonic cleaner in 2009. By the way, Mikey, say hi. What's your shirt mean? It's an anime character dying. Oh. He's dying? Yeah. You wear death on your shirt? Yeah. That is, that is something else. Okay. But, yeah, so that is... That is that. Yeah, the ultrasonic... Well, the way, thank you, by the way, to Blur. But, yeah, that is... Uh, Mo one of the most productive employees and it's an inanimate object it definitely does more work than I do that ultrasonic cleaner just kills it I got that thing in 2009 I actually have a video about that ultrasonic cleaner yeah this is a very very old video here that I did next to my ultrasonic cleaner this is about six years old now Let's see I think I was one of the few times I gave good advice in this video uh, yep I got that thing at, at Ultrasonic Cleaner. It was very close to turning 10 years old. And it was one of the best purchases I ever made. That was the tinier Ultrasonic Cleaner that you see in that picture, though. Wait a sec. I was looking at the orientation of the wrong damn ship. Oh, you go this way. How's it go? Food? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. As always, I hope you learned something. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? Come by our store, which is open to the public at 186 First Avenue in Manhattan. Are you located outside of New York? No problem. We have a live chat where you can speak with us about the repair that you need, a phone number where a representative will pick up during our open hours where you can contact us about repairs. Send us a machine from anywhere in the world by going to our website and clicking on the mailbox or simply heading over to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com where you'll be redirected to our mail-in instructions page that includes the form and the directions on how to send us a MacBook for repair. Don't delay. Click our affiliate link down below.